Hello, it's Dominique. Uh, I want to show you what I just finished yesterday. I made a series of tutorials in French if you want to watch it. It's easy to follow. This is an easy project, just a two-section folio using the Just Be You paper collection. Uh, it's a scrapbooking kit from Aqua Park. You have 12 sheets and you have some cards there and also uh, a 12 by 12 these are all 12 by 12 this is 12 by 12 sticker sheet and also I used a couple of the um, maybe three of the 6 by 6 and I still have quite a bit I didn't want to do too much this is an easy project I didn't want to use the whole <laughs> paper collection I still have all these scraps quite a bit of paper and um, because I want to make another project with it. So these are really nice papers. Uh, I had a lot of fun working with them, and I can't wait to do the uh, the second project. With it. So I'm going to show you what it is about. So here uh, I did not make a chipboard cover because this was an easy project. Because I have a lot of new uh, people that are new in scrapbooking on my channel or are watching my videos. So um, I decided to make a small easy project. So you have two sections, as you can see. This is the back, a little sticker here, some blings. This uh, little sticker I popped onto board. This one I just, uh, I used a, a six by six sheet here because um, the pattern was smaller because I wanted my my uh, bicycle to stick out from the, um, the paper. And I put little flowers, little stickers here, and some blings. So I'm gonna show you the inside. It's very easy. I was inspired by Frances from New Book of Memory, so go, go see, go check her channel. I have a lot of, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I have been inspired by her and I think that she deserves to be checked out. So <clears throat> two sections here, very easy. Each section has a an unpaged pocket. I'll show you when I open it. So here I use one of the cards from the cutouts. It's magnetized. So here you have a little pocket and I made a tag this way or a little mat. You can have two photos and maybe journaling or three photos or four photos. And here I have a pocket. I use one of the stickers I matted on uh, cardstock, and then I glued just one part of it. This is a little card I made. It is um, incrustations, what I call my incrustations. <laughs> this is uh, an idea from uh, Francis again that I got, and I keep doing this thing. Like I made the, recently, I made a big book just with this, so <laughs> like 38 pages of that. <laughs> I really enjoyed making that. So here it opens like this. So you have photo mat here. You can tuck a photo right here. You can do some journaling here. Tuck underneath here. Here when I have a square uh, sticker, I just put a piece of cardstock underneath. But when you have like uneven uh, edges, then I use the um, the, the cornstarch, <laughs> which is the greatest idea. You can put two photos here. I made a pocket with the shadow, with the punch. This is one of Martha Stewart's punch and I just put a photo in here and every time I make this the easy projects I always if I decide to make something a little bit more complicated as interaction I always talk about the um, the other option of making something uh, easier yeah I wanted to show you the um, on page pocket right here so you have this card right here it goes inside so you can do like maybe four photos and journal here this goes back in there Okay, so that's section one. I will be making a uh, three section pretty soon too. So here I made a waterfall cascade. So this is easy. Like it seems like it's hard, but it's easy because I think it's e even easier than making the regular waterfall. Because the regular waterfall, when you have your cards, if they're just a little crooked, like as a thirty second of an inch, when you flip it up, you will see that it's crooked. So to have them all even here and all even here on, when they're all flipped. Uh, it's very hard, so I think it's easier to make this kind of uh, waterfall, and it's more fun too, so might as well make it. So this is magnetized as well, so it opens here. So here I made four pockets, I put some tags in them, and this is the uh, what I call the interrupted image, because I have the four pockets and it's the same image continuing, and it's interrupted for the amount of uh, border that I have here, but it's underneath. I did not cut it out. I just glued it underneath. So it's always glued underneath so that your your flower or your leaves or whatever you have there is not stretched because you just cut it and then push it and then cut it and put it higher and glued it higher and higher. So that's the best way to do it. So you just cut where 
just a, a little bit underneath, like when you measure where you're going to cut your sheet that you've already cut. You just measure like uh, maybe a sixteenth of an inch and you, you cut it here, the same here, and that sixteenth of an inch that you have, that that is the amount of the border here, is just underneath. That's the way to do it. So, and these pockets, they go all the way to the edges, like this, this one I need to fix. And also they go all the way down. So I use one of the cards from the cutouts. And these cute little cards here. And this one I just folded to make it a little booklet. This is a diagonal uh, pocket. So I uh, made them diagonal, but someone who wants to make it easier can just do the one straight uh, side pocket or lower pocket here. And this one here was it was a um, uh, 12 by 12 and I did not have a large enough page to use it, so I decided to just fold it and put it here. That was uh, Frances' idea too. <laughs> she was working, uh, working with another paper collection, but it's the same same uh, kind of papers. They have the same thing here with all the uh, mosaic of all the papers in the paper collection. So this opens here. So here I have a side pocket here and here I have more of the incrustations and here I have this pocket here I wanted to put just uh, to put a photo on it or maybe just journal on it and I didn't want to just glue it there I decided to make it a pocket so it's that technique where when you glue the edges here it's just the, the card you just glue around but you glue the, the bottom really stable and then when you're ready to glue this one you just press a little bit inwards just a little bit so that you have a little pouch here and it's easy to put a card in it. So I thought that was cool. And this one also has the on-page pocket. So there you go. That was an easy project. But I worked all day making that. Like this would have taken me maybe 3-4 hours to make but it took me like 10 hours just because I was making the tutorials at the same time. So there you go. So I hope you liked it. If you did, you can click on that thumbs up button. And uh, if you ask me for a tutorial, I did not make a tutorial on this one, uh, but you can check uh, Frances. She has all those tutorials that you can get and then um, make uh, her, her ideas, which is similar to mine. Anyways, So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.